Hello, this is Matthew with Outfishing 13 bringing you a new video today and for the next few days I'm going to be working on my Lucas sawmill right over here and I also have this log hauler that I made and we're going to be using that to haul some logs out and cut them up with the sawmill. So, okay. right now is two by fours that are eight feet long and and the lumber that we're using is this um, beetle kill um, pine it's a uh, lodgepole pine really nice wood though and all that has this nice blue color in it you can see the blue staining in it and it's been dead for about a year it's checked but i have a technique for cutting up this lumber so that um, you get rid of the checks and when you face it so what we've been doing is so we only have to haul out one log at a time or two at a time as so we've been cutting them 16 footers or 16 foot three and then I come in and I cut them a little bit long, eight foot one, eight foot two. That way we can square off the ends and have eight, two eight footers. down one inch I made stickers. I made them inch by inch and a half. And a half wide. Yeah, that's too wide nearly.
do some standard dimensional lumber. So, is there a reason you start up here, then go down, or is it easier to start at no, zero? No, never start at zero. This accounts for the width of the blade. Gotcha. So always use this. Don't use this. Use this as much as possible and slide it up and down, or else you just wear this out. So what we want to do is we want to go down an inch and a half. And maybe just a little bit. For shrinkage, yeah. Just, yeah, I mean, just like a, a tiny bit.
Now that's a nice 2x4. The lumber all loaded up that we cut up over the last two days. These are two by fours by eight foot long and the quality is really good. This is some of these here on top are seconds. We're just gonna use them for you know little things like blocking or small things but this lumber down here is Number two or better, SPF, it's it's pine, it's the uh, lodgepole pine. But we cut up over, I think, about 110 of them. And uh, they're just superb, good lumber, even though it's beetle kill. But you can see that it, uh, it's got some of this blue staining in it, which is actually for... Uh, like tongue and groove is three times as more expensive but it was a great fun running the sawmill if you have any questions make comments below I, I've run a, a Lucas mill now probably f over oh over 300 hours and 
I got the sawmill in 2002 and and ran it for about a year and a half or two well probably two years and then I didn't do anything with it since about 2004 and uh, this is really the first opportunity in 20 years 18 years that I've had to really run it because I have had access to, to timber but it's a great little sawmill, just a fabulous little sawmill that does dimensional lumber like crazy. If you have access to really good trees, you can really be productive. This is mediocre because it's small and it has splits and it's dried. But anyways, and then I was really pleased. Make sure you watch my video on my little lumber hauler, that little lumber um, log arch. Uh, that was a fun project to build. I didn't, I don't have, like I said, plans for it. Um, built it and fabricated it myself so we'd have something to so that Seth would have something to pull logs out of the woods with. Anyways if you enjoyed the video about the sawmill make sure you give me a big thumbs up and uh, if you want to subscribe please subscribe. Um, I have a whole bunch of other videos on fishing and fishing reel repair and modification videos. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.